Now in this video I'm going to show you how you can record all of your mixes. So let's get started. Now the mix we're going to be using in this demonstration is the American Audio Cuse Band Pro. This is applicable to any DJ mixer. So I've taken out the blank panel there on my mixer so I can get to all the back panel. Now we're going to kind of connect a cable out of the master output or the record output. Now this depends very much upon your mixer. Now let's take a look at the outputs on this particular mixer. Now looking at the back of the mixer, I'm using a mirror so we can see the connections here. You can see those are our outputs there. We've got our master output, our zone output and our record output. Now we could use any of these outputs to record our mix, but for this demonstration I'm going to use the zone output because it means we have control over the volume more easily on the mixer. Now to record our mix we're going to be using a computer here, which is probably the easiest most accessible way everyone will record their mix. So we're going to need a cable to go from a phono connection, which the mixer goes to, to a 3.5mm jack that's the microphone input on the computer. So here we go, this is the cable I've got. Now I'm going to use a little audio extension because this is a very short cable. So let me just plug this in. We're going to, as I said, we're going to use the zone output for this first uh, recording. So let me just plug that in. And goes the other, into the zone output. So now we'll get our little extension, plug that in. Over to our computer, it's just a simple case of plugging that audio uh, cable into the microphone input on the computer. So now how are we going to record this mix? Well we're going to use a program called Audacity. Now this is one of my favourite audio recording programs. Number one, because it's a very good piece of software. Number two, it's completely free. So this piece of software here, sorry about the strobing across the screen. This piece of software here, this um, is completely free and it's universal binary. So it will work on both Macs and PCs. So let's start off by checking that we're not going to clip our signal. So first of all, let's hit the record button up there on the top control bar. We now started recording. Now I'm just going to record a bit of a song for this demonstration. I'm only going to play a tiny little bit of it to you because of copyright stuff. So, the sun goes down. see if you can guess what that is. So what we're going to do is we're currently recording on the laptop over there. We're going to get our zone control volume and we're going to slowly increase it until we get to a nice high level on the computer. So if I go over here, look at the computer screen. We can see we've got a really low signal, so we're going to turn up the volume. But we don't want it like this, we don't want it clipping the signal like that. That's too loud. So when it's in that kind of shape, you're clipping the signal and it's too loud. So you want it just to be under that. So let's try again. That looks pretty good. So we can now stop that, and I can go back. So we've now just successfully recorded that. So now what you've done is you've set up your volume levels. So now you can get ready to mix. You can press record, and away you go. Start mixing. Very simple. So there you go, that's a really easy way for you to be able to record your mix. This doesn't just work using something like this kind of setup, this will work with a coffin bed setup, with CDJs, this will even work with stuff like MIDI controllers, just connecting out the phono outputs on the back. Now if you only have one master output, you can get a little Y splitter that splits the phono into two different outputs, and then you can send one output to your speakers and one output to the recording interface, which would be the input into your computer. Another way you can record is using a, a little pocket audio recorder like this here. So you basically just take that 3.5mm jack going out your mixer and plug it into the microphone input on that, make sure your levels aren't too high, press record and you're good to go. This would be very useful if say you're out on the road doing gigs in clubs and you want to be able to record your mixes without the hassle of setting up a large computer. So there you go, I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Thanks for watching.